Welcome back to Pest School. In this episode of Pest 2020, I'm gonna show you when, how, and where to use the through the through the through faint and the trap faint. Now on, on the previous pest, Pest 2020, most of them were done with holding R1. Now is that change for R2. Alrighty, to do the trap faint, basically that's what's called in football, dummy or layoff. You simply let go of your left stick. When, when, you, when you make a pass to a player, you let go of everything. You'll go, usually you're holding left stick to go towards the ball. But in this situation, to do a trap feint, you let go of the left stick and then you hold R2. That's for the trap feint. I'll show you a good example with the button on top of it to make it more informative. The second one is through feint. Similar, similar scenario, you let go of your left stick, but this time you hold L1 and R2 together and then you run with r1 and left stick you know to chase the ball or whatever you want to do it's the same thing with trap feint obviously when you do the trap feint after that you want to hold r1 and left stick to go towards the ball but to activate the trap feint you have to do what it says there release left stick and then hold r2 all right now we have a perfect example here the ball is on the ball to a defender boom all I did was just hold R2, as simple as that. Now, we have another example right here. If you look at it, all I'm doing is holding R2, as simple as that. Everything is let go. That will give me space, that will give me time to be aware of my surrounding, you know, to make good decisions, not to make a lot of mistakes because human errors are happen regardless of the artificial intelligence errors. Now, as you can see, another example right here, you can use it on the flank to evade players. The second one I want to show you is the throw feint. This one is basically R2 and L1. Same scenario, you let go of your left stick. I mean, I'm pretty sure with, with what you see on the screen, everything is pretty clear. The timing, it's important. Now, you may see R1 as soon as I do these trap feint or throw feints because I want to chase the ball. Apart from the layoff, even when you do the, do, do the layoff to the next player, it's your choice whether to want to stay stationary, and you can combine all that together. Remember, the trap feint, the throw feint, the dummy kick, the um, the trick trap. You know, you can combine all that with the finish dribbling, with the skills. That will make that will make your gameplay more enjoyable. Now, all that, okay, it might look easy on these tutorials because at the moment we don't have a training ground, and I'm just trying to point out how it's done quickly obviously i'm playing against the computer so when you play against real humans you gotta time it because when you do it several times they'll be aware of it especially good players so all you gotta do when the full game is out practice train combine all that together and you're gonna become a better player and more entertaining to watch for your opponent and if you're live streaming or whatever you do hope you guys enjoy the video show a little support by simply sharing this video like and subscribe if you haven't been set till next time Ciao for now.